Hi there, you might have noticed me talking about compulsory and non-compulsory arguments of a method or function in Google Earth Engine. To properly run a method or function we need to know what the arguments are and in what form a method or function requires it and whether or not providing a certain argument will break the code or not. First of all any method or function we use in Earth Engine has its description available in the docs section. I will create an array first using the Earth Engine array method. Details of this method is available in the docs. I will add few numbers to it. Now I want to compute the cosine of numbers in array. I will search cos in the docs, and under the array methods, I will click on cos. Here, in the arguments it says that this method requires an array. This means this array, and then after adding a dot I will write cos. When I print it a new array is generated with values of cosines of the elements in first array. Let's talk about the image visualization method also known as map.addLayer. This method will display our filtered image on map. But to use this method we need to have an image first. I will quickly filter the SRTM digital elevation model which is loaded as image in Google Earth Engine. In the docs I will search for map.addLayer, and under the map methods I will click on it. Remember in Google Earth Engine, there is a difference between map with lowercase m and map with uppercase m. The map with lowercase m is used to apply a function over something. Please watch my video tutorial on mapping a function in Google Earth Engine, link given in video description. The map with capital M has to deal with the base map below or visualizations. Remember argument of any method or function which is in non-italic is a compulsory argument. Not providing it will show errors. While anything which is in italics is an optional or non-compulsory argument. If you don't provide it no error will show. However these arguments give you more control of the method. Description of these arguments for example what data type it requires and what will a particular argument show in result is given below. I will type map.addLayer in code editor and provided the image that we filtered. As you can see by just providing it the image, the code executed just fine because image is the compulsory argument. Now I will provide it some visualization parameters which is one of the optional or non-compulsory arguments. I will not discuss them in detail. Please watch my video on how to filter and display datasets in Google Earth Engine. With the visualization parameters you can see the image looks more catchy. If you learned something please like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more beginners oriented Google Earth Engine videos. For any questions please write in comments or send me an email. I will see you in the next one. Peace.